Hello everybody! Today, we're going to unbox the Acoustic Solutions Bluetooth Wireless Speaker, take a close-up look, and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. Please excuse the condition of the box, it's a little bit tattered, that's because this is a demonstrator that's been sent to me. I'm sure the speaker will work just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. Okay, so inside the box we have a power adapter. A user manual or instruction manual. So it's an English instruction manual only. So now let's put that aside and take a look at the power adapter here. Okay, so let's undo this tie here and uh, show you the cord length. So that gives you an idea of the cord length right there. Okay, so it's a good length. Uh, let's put that aside and take a look at the actual speaker itself. So let's remove the styrofoam packaging and the clear plastic wrapper here. So it's quite an unusual shape. It's a sort of like a teardrop type of shape. And there are controls at the top there where you can see there is a Bluetooth button followed by an LED indicator light. And then you've got some universal track controls there or playback controls with a back, forward, play, pause, volume down, up. Another indicator light there next to the aux in button. So as you can see, there is a power in jack there or socket, and then you've got the aux in socket there as well, and you've got a power button. So now the aux in is useful for if you have older devices uh, where there's no Bluetooth connectivity, so you have to connect by wire, or if you even want to save electricity or power um, by connecting your devices, by uh, by wired connection instead of uh, Bluetooth because Bluetooth does consume quite a bit of power on your devices so if you want a longer playback time you might want to consider connecting um, through the aux in using an aux in uh, cable so there are options there in terms of connectivity which is a nice thing so let's look at the bottom so you've got two non-slip rubber feet here to keep the speaker in place and so you have a sense of the size 
of the speaker and of course the shape as well. Okay, so now let's try and uh, power it up and pair it up and uh, try and get it to play some music. So let's connect the power supply into the back of the speaker and then I'll connect the power adapter into the mains wall supply there and then of course we should turn it on so I've just pressed the power on button and you can see the uh, LED indicator light next to the Bluetooth button uh, is flashing or blinking so let's now try and pair it up I've got my Sony Xperia Z3 compact smartphone here and let's go into the settings and tap on Bluetooth so it's now looking for Bluetooth devices okay we've got Richard's iMac Let me try that again. Okay, we have F-3088. That's an unfamiliar device to me. That must be the speaker. Let's try and pair it up. And you can see that the LED indicator light has changed to a solid blue now in the background. And it shows it's connected to it on my phone. Okay, so I've paired the wireless Bluetooth speaker to my phone. Now let's try and play back some music. So I've loaded up YouTube and let's check it out. So I'm going to raise the volume now. Nice and strong sound. So we can also adjust the volume at the top as well. So that's the Acoustic Solutions Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. Thanks for watching and happy listening.